LSU and Sam Houston State. The Tigers suffering their first loss of the season yesterday while Sam Houston tries to finish the weekend unbeaten here at Dell Diamond. Set to go in Round Rock with Sam Houston State starting pitcher Logan Hewitt delivering the first pitch. It's part of D1Baseball.com. And we'll talk more about that after his base hit. Cruz delivering a single through the left side. This 2-2 pitch driven into right field and on to the berm. Home run, Braden Jobert, his second of the season. The Tigers strike first. It's two to nothing. Jared Jones swings at the first pitch. Right down the line. And he'll have a stand-up double to begin the top of the second. In the bottom of the fifth, and then added an RBI single in the seventh. Here, let's we'll see if it falls. It does, right in front of Chadwick, and LSU adds a third run. RBI single by Thompson, plating Jones. It's, it's different in this uniform. Yeah. Left side of the infield, backhanded by Jefferson. Gets it there in time. The call by first base umpire Michael Banks. This will certainly go to review. The stretch. Yeah, he's safe. Yeah, he's there. He's safe. Safe. Yeah. A one rip to left. Fair. Here comes Thompson. And here comes Dugas. They'll send him. Five nothing Tigers. Full count. Joe Bear to right. Gone. Almost all the way up the berm. The Tigers pouring it on in the second inning. That's two jacks for Joe Bear, and it's seven to nothing. LSU. Yeah, now. Down in Baton Rouge, they call that a Joe Bomb, and that's the second one of the game for Joe Bear. You mentioned 18 home runs last year, and I tell you what, he feels like he's stronger, he's faster, he's dropped 25 pounds. He says the bat speed is better, and boy, he's put on the show so far today, and so is LSU. There is not a human in the Sam Houston bullpen. Not right now. And, and I, I don't understand that. I don't either because I think they got through the first two days using four arms. They had plenty available. Tommy White, first pitch swinging, lifts it to left. Brewster can't find it. Well past him, and it's a double. Bounces over the wall. No other way. In the left, Brewster this time has a beat on it. That'll do it for the Fighting Tigers. A lot of importance every single day out. Jared Jones knocks this one. Fair. <laughs> wow. That got inside the pole. That looked like it was carrying foul. That's a solo shot for Jones to lead off the third. I don't think I even saw that one land. Where did it I land? Saw it, I saw it land. Is so it on course back there? No, 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 no. No, further. So you go to the second deck where the stairs are that go up yeah, all the way okay. to the top. It hit the facing right there. Yes. I mean, I know the wind's blowing out to the left, but that is leaned on. That ball's wopside. The only question is, is it going to stay fair? See, there's a, you see the short strokes? Yeah, he got his yeah. hands in really good right there for a big guy. And we got out of the yard. This one's solid. In the left center for a single. 2 game three hours. Sam Houston's a pretty good club. Jefferson can't backhand it. Two men on for the Tigers. Nobody out. Cruz. That'll stay in the infield. Now it's a matter of communication with the wind. And it falls. Tyler Davis trying to stab it. Couldn't. And both Tigers score of all the infielders. That's the last guy you want to catch. Yeah. 
the very last guy. Short stop, right? He's captain it's, of your infield. And it's coming back to him. 2-0 changeup. Got him all the way out in front. Straight at Davis. The third out. Your day so far. I mean, I know you like to go around, just chat with people about college baseball, enjoy the scene. As Morgan delivers a single to left. The third. Takes that one inside. The Tigers have two aboard with one out. Be pretty bad from time to time because mm -hmm. it'll tell your coach how you handle that adversity. Thompson gets it into right field and gets past Chadwick. Morgan scores, and here comes Jones. Thompson will be stopped at third base. Two more Tigers come in. 12 to nothing. LSU over Sam Houston. Sam Houston's played some pretty good defense leading up to this game, but they've not been on par so far in this ball game period. That'll go down as a single and probably an RBI, I am guessing. You can see the right fielder, Chadwick, comes in, and the ball just gets right under his glove, and the race is on for Jordan Thompson. Will he get from home all the way back to home? Right there, the brakes are put on. He checks up, and LSU pushes across a couple more. I used to have a big Orioles belt buckle. Mm. Played it to throw more sliders, even though most people know a slider of mine was hit pretty far that one time. More strikes, and he's got like a, it almost acts like a changeup, but they say it's more of a cutter or a hard slider, but it's almost got just straight vertical, and it doesn't have a whole lot of right. In the Juco route, and it's great that they get to shine. I love seeing coaches take it, too. Anywhere you can get your foot in the door. The 3-1. Missing. And that's four consecutive walks issued to Sam Houston, allowing the Bearcats to plate their first run. 12 to 1 Tigers. He hits the 1 0 into right. Well in front of Joe Bear. Two more Bearcats score. Now 12 to 3 in favor of the Tigers. And that's exactly their ball game. They're just going to chip back. Well, especially after, and this time he goes down looking, after the Tigers had scored two in the top of the first. 12-3, to three, the lead for the Tigers, and that's where it will remain as Wyszkowski grounds to first. The shortstop's a big-time pro prospect, right? Yeah, Matt Shaw, he's incredible. Cruz goes to deep left center off the top of the wall. Stand-up double. That was almost another cruise missile, but I can tell you one thing, there is a dent in that wall out there. First pitch swinging through the right side as Lloyd got a glove on it. Can't knock it down as Cruz comes in to score. Joe Bear, RBI single to increase the Tiger lead to 13 to three. Two, two into center, Redfield. Moves to his right. Has to jump a bit to make that grab and finish off the Tigers. Let's go do that, man. Oh, goodness, because you dream of playing on fields like this, you know. It's what you dream of growing up, and you're in college, and you get to get a taste of it in tournaments like this, and then they've dealt with it before, and unfortunately, it's all part of it. That gets past Lloyd. Napolt delivers, and it gets away from Redfield in center. LSU. Goes up by 11. Brady Neal comes around. But I also think social media can be a really great thing for these players, too, because it's such a great way to connect with fans. Gavin Dugas is the type of player who looks like he's ready to run through a wall. And yeah. He strikes out here, second consecutive time. That's, well, Dylan Cruz has had a day. It continues here. Yes, it falls. Outstretched Joe Redfield can't get it. Wow. How about That's the third double for Cruz today. How about a five for five day. Not anything to do with LSU. I find that hard to believe. I do but he flipped his he flipped his arm around to be a tiger. And that makes sense. Back through the middle. Cruz will come home. And LSU. Now leads 15 to 3 on the strength of an RBI single by Trey Morgan. 3 2 with two out. Got him looking. Good pitch right there. Radio guys for an inning. 
First pitch oh, God, no. I wish Koski, and that one will carry. Home run for Justin Wischkowski. Bearcats now trail by 11. He can hit, man. That didn't happen the first weekend, and it's an old offense. Eight of the nine starters back from last year offensively. He's one of them, but looks healthy right now. I don't know if it matters with the win. This one probably goes out either way. His yeah. first home run, his second run batted in. Contreras quickly retired. For those of you that were there, we appreciate you. Kyle with Peterson us. will be calling you back in the near future. It's one of the 700 messages he got. Hot shot to the right side. And going for three. Put the brakes on. Right, right down, down into the, the crowd. crowd. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jefferson fields over to first. Stevenson scores. The 1 1 from Money. Into right. Frey coming on to make the grab. And the LSU Tigers capture the 2023 Carbach Round Rock Classic Championship.